Hello Oracle Database fans, this is Justin, and in this Oracle Database video YouTube tutorial, I am going to sh pretty much state the obvious. I'm going to show you what happens if you attempt to start up an Oracle Database whose storage is managed by ASM, um, and the ASM instance is not up and running. Now, ASM stands for Automatic Storage Management, and it was introduced in Oracle Database version 10G. And basically what it is, is it's Oracle Database's LVM, Logical Volume Manager. Okay, so it, Oracle now encompasses, like, you know, all portions of your infrastructure, okay, including the LVM. Okay, and simply all you do is you specify uh, disks um, or logical volumes to a, at an OS level, to ASM, and ASM uses them the way it sees fit to store your, um, data files and your control files and your redo log files and you know basically your storage from your Oracle database is managed by ASM rather than a cooked file system okay so and I'm going to show you something pretty obvious here in this in this short video and the reason why I show you things pretty obvious is not really to be patronizing but to I think it really helps you with troubleshooting to see what the errors may look like if you're in that situation okay there's nothing worse than <laughs> trying attempting to track down an issue, okay, and then find find out it was something obvious from the beginning, and you go, oh my gosh, why didn't I figure, it, why didn't I, you know, why didn't I see that from the start, it would have saved me a ton of time, alright, so, we have a database called finance, we'll set our SID to finance, we'll ensure we're set properly, and we'll log into finance with our SQL plus program, we'll ensure we're sysdba user, and that we're connected to the finance database, which we are. Now, if you do a, if we do a select name from V dollar sign data file, we will see that the data files are managed by ASM and the D group one disk group denoted by plus. And if we do select name from V dollar sign control file, we will see that our control file is managed by ASM and the D group disk group. And if we do select member from the dollar sign log file, we will see that our online redo log files are managed by ASM. And if we type in select name from the dollar sign temp file, we will see that our temporary table space file is data fi temp file is managed by our by ASM. So let's go ahead and let's see and let's see what happens if we attempt to shut down the ASM instance while the finance instance is up and running. Okay, so we're connected as ASM. It says cannot shut down ASM instance with connected DBS or DBMS instance. Well, let's try shut down abort. ASM instance shut down. So this is very important here. It says cannot shut down ASM instance with connected D DBMS instance. Okay, so the finance database is connected to our ASM instance. Okay, so shutdown immediate, which is a nice shutdown, won't work. Okay, we get Aura 15097. But if we do a shutdown abort in ASM, that tells ASM, I don't care if anyone's connected, sh I understand the risks, shut down. So when, now that we took, we basically took the chair out from under that database. Okay, so now we're going we're gonna to connect to it with SysDBA, connect it to an idle instance. Select name from v.sign database won't work. Okay, the dates of the instance is no longer available. That you took away. So, shutting down ASM with a shutdown abort like that is the equivalent of um, turn off uh, turn off the disk subsystem or pulling the fiber cable out from the database server. Okay, so now let's take a look and see what the activity log for the finance database has to say about this. This is a pretty um, traumatic experience for an Oracle database. Uh, trace. Okay. Edit. Alert. Underscore finance log. Here's the alert log, which logs all um, major events in the life of an Oracle database instance. Okay, so we'll go to the bottom here. And right here. Communication failure with ASM instance. See, so you have 
or a 15064 communication failure with ASM instance. Okay, so if you if you have if you have end users who call you and say my database instance crashed, I can't get to it anymore. It's unavailable for some reason. I try to can I set my Oracle SID and try to log in as SQL Plus as you saw, and I get that communication error. The first thing I'm going to do is DBA. As with most issues, I'm going to go to my trusty alert log and see what the latest message is, and I'm going to see it says communication with ASM instance failure, and then I know at that point to investigate at the ASM instance level. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's keep the Oracle, the ASM instance down. Okay, and let's attempt, just double check that where it says Oracle Finance. Let's try to restart our finance instance without the ASM instance being up. And this is pretty obvious that it won't. Okay, and it says error in identifying control file. Okay, so it's as if you deleted the control file. It can't find the control file. So we shut down abort the finance instance because it's useless. Set an Oracle SID to the name of our ASM instance, which is plus ASM. We connect and start up our ASM instance. Okay, disk groups mounted, ASM started, we're good. Now we type in Oracle SID Finance and we connect via SQL Plus. Now we should be able to start up the finance database just fine. And it will get the startup of the finance database this time will get past the mount stage of startup because it can find a control file because it can now connect to ASM, which is hosting the storage of that control file. Select name from the dollar sign database. Okay, so what is the um, I guess lesson here? Well, the lesson here is that you need if if your database is managed by an ASM instance, then that is a requirement, a dependent of dependent of the um, finance database. So your finance database in this instance needs the um, ASM instance to be up and running in order for it to um, start up. Okay, that's like shutting down the disk subsystem and saying, oh, how come I can't start up my database? Well, you shut down the disk subsystem that contains its files. That's why it can't start up. Okay, so when you shut down a database, you always shut down the client database, we'll call it first, like the finance database, and then you shut down the server database, we'll call it instance called ASM. And then so it's database first, RDBMS instance first, I should say, then ASM instance for shutdown. For startup, it's ASM instance first, and then our DBMS instance. Okay, so the vice versa. So again, for shutdown, it's DBMS instance first, in this case finance, then the ASM instance, in this case plus ASM. And again, on startup, it's ASM instance first, which in this case is plus ASM, and then our DBMS instance second, which in this case is finance. Okay? All right. Thank you.